Hey everyone, it's Jeremy Hamilton with 5280 Angler out here at Decker's today. Um, it's been, recently we've, we've had a lot, a lot of wind pretty much everywhere. Uh, so, you know, there's still fish to be caught out here, uh, even despite the wind, but, but uh, hopefully soon we'll see some wind starting to die down and, and get back to more normal conditions. But for springtime, it's kind of what you have to deal with. Um, now at Decker's today, we did see uh, the water has come up a little bit. So there's some, there's a little bit of, of dirty water. Worms were working well. I know everyone, you know, we're always saying worms, but, but really it is, it is a thing and they were eating those. Scuds, crane fly larvae, stone flies, all the big stuff is, is really going to be kind of the focus of the fish today. And that really was uh, what the fish were on, but they're still on some betas. So uh, we caught some on juju betas, pheasant tails, um, uh, chocolate thunder or, or foam wing emerger, however you want to want to describe that. RS2s are, are still uh, valuable flies to have. Uh, then then uh, we did we did see some caddis pupa uh, and larva. So you want to do like a graphic caddis or uh, bars net builder caddis. Those have been working well also. Uh, so that's that's pretty much what we what we've been seeing at Deggers. I actually did try a streamer for a little bit today in olive sculpin type streamer just for someone that wants to try something different uh olive sculpin did did get uh some bites i missed them but but uh but it did get some bites so that's something worthwhile if you kind of want to go against the grain a little bit for dry fly activity we just haven't with with the higher water dirtier water we didn't see anything out out today on the surface but but if the water starts to, to come down and clear up, then that might be the case. Uh, but, it, but right now we're starting to see, I think, the beginnings of runoff. So that's, that's not really something that, that uh, you should count on right now. Um, so moving on, uh, at Dreamstream yesterday, uh, we did, it, again, it was windy, 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 but uh, dark brown worms, jujubatus, some caddis larva, midges there was actually a really good midge hatch in the morning we did see a few fish uh, feeding on the surface not a ton and i wouldn't focus so much on that but uh, a crystal midge black beauty um bling midge those types of things midge larva were you know we saw a lot of those in a in a stomach sample from a fish so they were really really on those and an olive a zebra midge would work really well also uh jujubatus rs2s all, all those Kind of common things that we've been seeing just about everywhere right now. Uh, we did have a guide out at the Blue River a couple days ago. He said the water was low, but uh, the uh, he caught him on mysis, pheasant tails, some midges, you know, variety of small midges, uh, you know, 20s, 22s, 24s, and in black olive. All that stuff is going to work really well out there. Um, Eagle River, uh, that's starting to see some runoff. Pretty much any, any tail, or uh, I'm sorry, any freestone river right now, we're going to start to see the beginnings of runoff. So that's might be places you want to avoid for now. Tailwaters, such as Decker's right now, Cheeseman Canyon, uh, uh, Dream Stream, Williams Fork River, all of those are going to be, uh, you know, protected from runoff for the moment. So those are, those are all good places to, uh, to really focus on right now. So anyway, um, I think that's it for now. Well, uh, Pueblo, by the way, just, just uh, Pueblo's a little high right now on the Arkansas, so I'd kind of avoid that. Uh, it's, it's on the high end, so that's, that's kind of unfishable right now. But otherwise, um, all the tailwaters, good, good time to be out. It's not too terribly busy out on, on the less than ideal weather days the crowds are pretty low so good time to get out and fish otherwise uh you know make sure to follow us 5280 angler on on youtube on instagram facebook you can follow me jeremy hamilton fly fishing and as always we'll see you out there